Hello everybody, I'm a whim here with another settlement mod review. And today we are doing Breakheart Homestead, which converts Breakheart Banks into a settlement. And this settlement is done by Space Time Bender. So uh, we're taking a look at it behind my shoulder there. And anybody who's played this game and then played through at least once knows that Breakheart Banks was a settlement at one time and then taken over by mutants. In front of me is uh, Green Top uh, Nursery, this way. So we're right in between. This is my, happens to be my favorite sniping spot, <coughs> which is on the rocks across the road. So Breakheart Banks has a uh, place to jump to, so we're good there. And you can see it's it's centrally located. Here's Green Top Nursery. Here's Breakheart Banks. And here's the slog. So very nice, very nice. So um, he makes a note in his comments about uh, how he changed some of the parameters, which is the middle man, minute men parameters. So I would not run this mod until uh, you had a um, an opportunity to add all the um, minute men quests involved, which usually has to do with the slag or green top nursery to send you there to take out the mutants. I installed this mod. <clears throat> and the mutants were spawned in. So I, I took the liberty to clear um, the mutants out. Hope you don't mind. No point in, you know, making all kinds of racket and noise. And... Now I'm having some trouble with my audio here. Anyway, uh, let's go check it out. So there's the, the, the typical mutants. Okay, two in the front. Two in the back, two dogs. I forgot about the, one of the dogs and wound up getting my butt chewed on, so. Um, he said he put down lanterns or something to show you where the corner. There's no marker when you go into build mode. Oh, there's one. I see it over there. So, there's one there. And I assume there's going to be, yep, I see another one over there. So those are the sides, I would assume. I don't know how... Let's get back up here a little bit. Let's see if we can get into build mode. Um, I really don't like it when they don't put in some kind of build border. Even if it's not perfect. Because uh, you're running around, you're not paying attention, you know? And, and it does make it hard. Um, by the way, this is a very heavily modded playthrough, so I have all the scrapping mods and building mods and, and whatnot. So, um, it, he left a couple of little, let's see, how, oh, oh, right at the road. Holy moly. Okay, like right there. Right where the car is, basically. Okay, let's see. Not even where the car is. Nope. Aha. Uh -huh. So he did. This is the end of it right here, apparently. Back into build mode. Hello. There we go. All right. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's a little short. Not terribly bad. I don't. Maybe you can get to the car. Nope. You can't get to the car. So, and with the build mod that or the scrapping mods, I can kind of pretty much tell where everything is anyway. But um, so I had a border there. So I have to assume it's going to end like right here. No. I can keep going. Well, shoot. Nope, now I'm outside the build area. There we go. Okay, so yeah, it, it's even those lanterns are off a bit by the looks of things. <clears throat> so, hopefully it does come up this far. Uh, let's see here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so we do get to the top of the hill. Which is a good thing. Um, so if you're used to break hard banks, you, you know this was a settlement, right? So we have some... Great area to build, uh, convert, you know, uh, and you can store all this stuff or rework it or whatever. But this the appropriate mods, okay? 
and uh, lots of stuff, lots of good junk, you know, so you can clean this stuff up and, you know, this, um, like I said, I have all the scrapping mods, you know, so you can clean this stuff up and get plenty of supplies, rubber, fertilizer, debris, whatever, and um, it's according to his instructions, it goes all the way down to the water someplace. I don't know exactly where. I couldn't quite figure it out because there's a set of stairs over here. Okay, and it ends in this area someplace. Um, but it does seem to go over here. So let's go down this way. You're going to have to do a little work, I think. Okay, we're good here. Yep, we're good here. So if we get the dock... And it looks like it. Yep. Okay. So we get the dock. Excellent. Let's just scrap some skeletoids. And uh oh, I can't. These fish can't be scrapped. That bucket can't. So we're right at the edge, right there. Ah, uh, we'll store the fish. Okay. So let's see, where do we get? He said he said he put lanterns in, but I don't know where the other lanterns are. I haven't found them yet. So, um, let's see here. Nope. Up this way. If you, if I miss the lantern, uh, I don't know where it is. Another dead one. Okay. Ah, there it is. It's a sneaky place to hide it, but okay. And so I assume it goes back up towards the front there, that way. Okay. The workbench, which is kind of cool, you put it back here. Uh, which if you look at his, <coughs> his um, picture, it shows that um, being here. Although it's hard to see. That's the way he took the angle of the shot. But here's our little workbench. And then he has these buttons here uh, that supposedly clear corpses, uh, clear clutter and trash. Uh, so if you're running this on a vanilla game, uh, well, I don't see anything for that one. Or that one. Alright, oh, wait a minute. Clear rocks. Remove bathroom shack. Okay. So, he put these buttons in so that it will remove different items for you. So, if you don't have scrapping mods uh, and such things, then, yeah, you could use the buttons to set it up the way you want it. Um, which I thought was kind of cute. But what I really like about this is he added this. Now, there's no workbench down here, but, of course, with mods, you have a workbench anywhere. Mod, and I'm sure that you could put such a mod um, workbench down here, since it's a separate cell. And you just have to remember to save it um, while you're still down here. Otherwise, um, I don't think it saves. But you got this whole little cavern down here, which is kind of cool. And he put water down here. And I just thought that was so cool that he went to uh, the effort to actually build this little thingy down here. You know, you got a little little hidey hole over here with a place to sleep. And, oh, and a corpse. So, how about that? So, uh, oh, come on, let's take some good stuff, right? What do we got in the box here? Uh, fusion cores. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let me get out of third person. So, yeah. Uh, very nice. Very nice. It, it's, um, you know, is it perfect? No. Is it, um, but it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to build here. So, I haven't tried a workbench down here, and I, I might do that at a later date. Or I might just leave it alone. I don't know. I could stick, yeah, I doubt if you can get settlers and stuff to go in here. So, what's the point, right? But it would be kind of cool. Just saying, you know, from my perspective. So, and as a builder, aha, I like all that little stuff. 
So, um, I did not notice, we'll go back and double check, I did not see any other uh, workbenches in my quick look around. So it's, I could have sworn there was like a weapons bench. Uh, you can see there's food here to be had. Um, this is the main shack. Yeah, let's see, yeah, so we have a weapons bench. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's go down below. And we have, these are the bathrooms, which you could strip out, of course, and just leave one and then use, ooh, look at my rare Nuka-Colas. Cool, that mod is still working. I love it when I get one of those. And there's plenty of crops here. So, what do we got over here? New color cherry, new color grape. I love it. Okay. So, we took out the mutants. We got, uh, what's this here? Just another bathroom. We could keep this one and do the other one, redo the other one, or whatever you like. So, as far as being able to scrap stuff, uh... This is working out pretty good with this. Of course, you have to have the appropriate scrapping mods uh, to make it work. Now, uh, we're going to go... I had already... I think I, there was, I found that there was some stuff in the workbench, but let's say you want to get rid of these spikes. Can we get rid of the spikes? Uh, I, I don't know. Is that the spikes? That is the spikes. Well, we could just move the spikes. Okay. Uh, anyway. Um, I want to put a, uh, check the workbench up here to see if it's actually attached to, um, the main workbench. So we get the weapons bench here, and, and, uh, it's just, yep. Well, that's nice. That's all a bunch of stuff I put in there. Some of this was already here. Okay. And, of course, if you're using mods, like I am, you're using Freemaker and Freecrafter, you need a chem station somewhere. So, let's just drop a chem station somewhere and see what happens. Mm, eh, this is a good spot as any. Oh, we even got lights. Look at that. So, I, I think so far, I, I like it. I've always thought this should have been something Bethesda overlooked. It should have been a settlement from the get-go, but no, no, it didn't happen that way. So, um, come on. With all the mods I have, needless to say, the menus take a while to get going. I'm stuck. There we go. So we go to USO. Crafting, armor, chemistry. Let's get a chemistry station. I can't make it. I don't have the right stuff, of course. Uh, no, copper screws are glass. Copper screws are glass. Okay. I should have... I have to go run across the street and, and uh, get myself some copper screws and glass so I can make a uh, chem station here. So let's see, now that I've unlocked this, does this show up in our, um, workshops, break card banks, there it is. Three beds, uh, some of the other settlements that I have. So, yeah. Okay, so... I guess... Uh, from what I can see, since I can't actually build a chem station here... Why don't you guys hold on for a minute? And... I'll go run across the street here and borrow a cup of glass or something. Back in a few minutes. Okay, we're back. I had to run across the street and borrow a couple of screws. So, let's get into build mode. 
Let's see if we can craft a chem station. Hopefully I got the right stuff. I think it was cat copper, glass, and screws. Yep, there it is. Here's our chem station that we're going to need. Uh, and the reason, like I said, the reason why you need this is with free maker and free crafter. It's... Uh, okay. Doesn't want to go there. Let's put it there. Okay. Now we'll try this again. Really doesn't want to go there. Not sure why. Well, somebody's shooting at me again. Okay, let's just, just go put it over here for right now. Well, maybe they're not shooting at me. I don't know. They're shooting at somebody. So we got our forward OP right here. And this, uh, we get rid of the mutants. And don't see anybody. Got a good view of the road. Mm, don't see anything. Okay. So I just dropped the chem station there, and hopefully it will link. I may have to leave and come back and wait for it to do its do its thingy, you know. So let's uh, we're gonna scrap that. Let's grab those two. Uh, wooden fertilizer, okay. Cool, okay. Here's our little cook stove, cooking station, whatever. And we put our chem station in. And that's, is it linked? It's linked. How about that, boys and girls? It works. <coughs> okay, I'm very pleased. So, yeah, I'm going to give this a very solid uh, four. Stars, and hearty thumbs up, yada yada yada. I really, really like the little uh, thingy that he gave us down below. We can put, <coughs> obviously, put our water in back here. And I'm not really, because the path is over here somewhere. Where's the path? And eh, lost the path. Is it over here? Uh, it's over here. For some reason, there's this path, but you get wind up outside of build mode when you're coming down here. But here's a melon. Oh, see, it's right here. So, yeah, so you can't quite get there. But if you go this way, <coughs> kind of meanders through here someplace and winds up on that dock. So, not quite to the end of the dock. So, uh, but we've got a place where you can put a boat. Yeah, do a little, little fishing, put in your water. Uh, so, yeah. Yep, I like it. Plan to build here. I don't know what I'll build here. But, um, yeah. So, if you're looking for another settlement, and you want neighbors, namely Greentop and um, the Slog, I think there's is a very, very viable um, place. Now, I have another settlement mod came out by Draco Invictus, and I will be taking a look at that. And, um... I hear glass rattling around, but I don't know where it's actually at. I don't see it. So, oh, I can't get underneath there. Well, that stinks. Okay. This way, huh? Trying to get to this pile of dirt here that's floating. There we go. Get rid of that one. 
You hear the bottles clunking? I don't I don't know what's actually causing that, but you know. So and I can't get underneath there. Now I can. Alright, good enough. Okay. I like the fact that they use the rocks to kinda of hold this whole place up. Looks good. You know, so yeah, typical Bethesda build. Um, we have a forward post over here, a little cleanup. You know, clean out the skeletons and whatnot, and you're going to be able to have yourself a real field day here. So, um, like I said, remember, do not install this until after you finish the Minutemen quests that are associated with this, because he says there is could be a problem. So, let's just leave it at that, okay? And, uh, let's see, we got some doggies over here. Get scrap out the doggies. Alright. And, since we can't, where's that other, uh, where's the other lantern? I don't see it. See, that's outside. This is inside. We must be very close. Okay. And that car, so we're outside right there. Okay. Yep. There we go. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, workbenches seem to work. I added a uh, chem station. It linked. He says that you can, uh, it's fully functional. I don't have any settlers yet. So we'll have to put up a settlers beacon, up, settlement beacon, and see if we can get some settlers in here. Okay, I had added a settlement beacon and have already gotten two settlers. So, and they just walked in, started working hard. And you can see I did a, added a few things here and there. Wasn't doing much, but, um, yeah, I put a beacon and they just popped right in. So, uh, this was the other thing that was here, was the uh, cook area, cook station. So I added a chem station. I had to run across the street and get some stuff and yeah, borrow a couple of screws. And here's my, stuck my beacon just for now. So where is our settlers? I saw him come in. He was back here working on the watermelons. I'm kind of confused here. I think we have to go this way. Not sure. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, here we go. I'm gonna have to put a map in or something so I can figure out where I'm going. So, oh there, aha! Okay, so we're gonna send one of them as a to do the supply line. A provisioner. And get them on the way. So we see if we can get a supply. Make sure, verify that we have a supply line. We should have. Um, so far, some of these settlements have been coming, doing real good. Uh, let's let's send her. She looks more like a provisioner to me. And that's another one of my settler settlements at South Boston Checkpoint. We want to send her to, uh, where do we want to send her? No, 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 no. We want to send her to, um, our primary place is, uh, and it's not showing up, which is the, uh, oh, yeah, there it is, Starlight Driving. Oh, this scared me. Uh, yes, confirm. There you go. Okay, so she is now off to Starlight Drive-In, and we should have a supply line. I hope. Absolutely. Huh, we don't have one from uh, Green Top, though. Or the slog, for that matter. Hmm. Ah, I gotta get busy here. Nor, uh, well, Coastal Cottage, I keep uh, as an experimental, so we're not gonna worry about that, but yeah. Okay, so we got supply lines. It shows two people, 38%. Looks good. Check our data. Break heart banks, power, water, defense. Yep. All right. Absolutely. 
if it wasn't for the border issue, which is not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination, but um, I think it's important that the borders be here. Personal opinion. So I want to rate this four stars. Hearty thumb up. Thumbs up. And um, I would highly recommend it. There's a lot of good stuff here. Especially if you uh, kind of want to scrap it. Boy, if you want to do a Raider build, here's the place to do it. Because they kind of give you all this neat stuff. And it's kind of scrappy looking to begin with. And... Um, so yeah, you got mutant tubs or whatever these things are. I don't even know if you get that stuff in the game, but it looks really cool. So, um, absolutely, folks. I'd almost go five stars. If it wasn't for the fact that it didn't have a chem station, and it didn't have a... It doesn't have the border. Because um, you need the chem station to make almost everything. Okay, if you're using free making and free craft, there's just cheat chests you can do and stuff, but you still need a camp station to make them at. So, guys, settlement builders, put in a camp station. And I'll give you five stars and a double thumbs up. How's that sound? Anyway, thanks everybody for uh, checking out my mod review. We'll have another one next week sometime, I hope. And. I guess with that, I say toodles.